past year, Austin leaked nearly 4.8 billion gallons of water. That was more than four years ago when we first revealed how much water Austin water was losing through leaky pipes. But now the problem is even worse. The utility lost more than 6 billion gallons in 2018. KXAN investigator Kevin Clark's discovery has prompted one city council member to ask a newly formed water committee to take up the issue next year. Yes, because the numbers are alarming. It was back in 2015 we told you the annual amount of water lost would be enough to fill Lady Bird Lake two and a half times. That amount of water lost has since climbed even higher, costing Austin ratepayers in the long run. It wasn't the wake up call Christine Poland and her neighbors were expecting. A water line break flooded their normally quiet street in Brentwood. I see the geyser and it is just, you know, flooding the people across the street. Vehicular traffic. Poland sent us that video at the end of September. When we met with Poland, weeks later, the leak was fixed. But public works crews were still preparing the damage it caused to the street. And I think now, you know, they're having to come in and repair that because um, that was initially really problematic with a very large bump. And Poland tells me this wasn't the first time this happened in her neighborhood. Yeah, I'm taking a picture. Back in 2012, another water line break flooded Woodrow Avenue. <laughs> the Band-Aid did not work this time, for sure. These leaks are happening more often around Austin, shutting down streets, detouring traffic, and when water is lost like this, costing taxpayers. Why do you think there are more of them than in the past here in Austin? Well, I think a few things. Uh, one, uh, weather extremes will often drive infrastructure failures. Austin water head Greg Mazera says it's a challenge maintaining the utility's 4,000 miles of water lines. Some of the city's old cast iron pipes were built in the 1930s. To address failing infrastructure in 2012, the city implemented Renewing Austin, a program to replace and upgrade those aging water pipes. Before, the utility told us the goal was to replace 10 miles per year. But eight years into the program, the utility has only replaced 43 miles total. So technically, that's not meeting the goal. How come? Well, it's a plan. And uh, as I indicated, as our thinking and knowledge increases, uh, we shift our focuses to maximize the benefit of the dollars that we spend. Mazares tells me Austin Water now has a more data-driven approach. Over the next few years, the utility plans to invest $80 million in a digital meter system that Mazares says will detect leaks in real time. This video also shows how the utility looks inside water lines to evaluate any water flow interruptions. A lot of our leaks don't come to the surface, that they may never appear at the surface, and so we have to have kind of remote sensing technologies to find those leaks. What is happening kind of at the end of the street right now. But Poland, like many ratepayers, works hard to conserve water in the drier months and sees the evidence of water loss right in her neighborhood. We're just saving drops in a bucket and then the bucket just, you know, gets emptied very quickly, it seems like. Keep in mind, water rates haven't gone up in a while, but a lot of the money you pay the utility is going to fix those leaky pipes. Last year, it cost $2.37 million up from 2015 when we first investigated the issue when it only cost $2.35 million to fix. Once we started asking about these numbers, two council members on the newly formed Water Oversight Committee are now working to bring up the concern at a future meeting, and we'll continue to follow up. Kevin Clark, KXAN Investigates. Thanks, Kevin. KXAN compared the amount of water lost in Austin to other cities that are similarly sized. Both San Francisco and Columbus lost less water than Austin last year. We spoke with a water policy professor at UT who says Austin is in the middle of the pack for U.S. cities when it comes to water loss. It's been disappointing that in the United States we are not investing in infrastructure and that there are many communities that don't take as aggressive a stance as Austin does towards dealing with its water losses. Our complete report can be found on our website in the investigative section of KXAN.com. That includes a map of the largest and costliest water leaks in Austin last year.